New at six with the news that FPL is looking to raise rates 10% in April. More people may be wondering if it's worth having solar panels installed to cut down on costs. One South Florida family did it, and they tell us about the pros and cons. CBS 4's Yvonne Taylor talked to them. He joins us now from Southwest Miami Dade. Well, in light of the proposed increase, we sought to get possible solutions for you. And this may be one of them. Even FPNL suggested. So, does it work? And for whom? Let's take a look at it. Rosetta Hernandez does a serious amount of laundry. I'm all about saving energy. For that reason, a year ago, she made a substantial change in her house and life. Now, everything in the house is running on the solar panels that we have. 24 panels, to be exact. I typically do at least four loads of laundry a week, sometimes five. She said laundry and hot water would spike up her bill. She relies on her app to keep up on the use of energy and savings with solar. All I know is that we're paying less per month. We ask her what everybody wants to know before committing to solar panels. Do you still have a bill from FPNL? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but I was warned that that could happen, that it might not cover everything. She thought the addition of solar energy meant she'd have no electricity bill, but it does not work like that. The highest it's ever been was like $78. She used to pay $175 a month. Are you still paying for the solar panels? Yes, through and our taxes. With her plan, she also changed her roof. So in order to save, first she had to make a major investment, a $73,000 investment. Hernandez did not qualify for the yearly federal rebate because of the time when she purchased. So this year, it will cost her more in taxes. It added about 6500 to the taxes. We reach out to a company that installs solar panels. So how soon would I get my money invested? Typically, seven years is kind of the average that we're seeing in our market. So that means that when you buy a solar system, you're going to get a 30% tax credit. Was it worth the investment? That's yet to be seen. I'm hoping it is. I think in the long run it will be because we really have no plans to move. And that is the question you need to ask yourself. Will I move in the next 20 years or so? The answer to that may determine if you get the full benefits of your investment. In Southwest Miami-Dade, Ivan Taylor, CBS 4 News.